Welcome, welcome, my friendos, and welcome to another episode of Apollo for Dummies. This is episode nine, and again, as per usual, I'm apologizing for taking forever to put out an episode, but I promise you there's great reasons every time. We just moved into our new house. We've been here for almost a full week, and I can't tell you how happy I am to be here. Um, enough about that. Let me quickly thank some of our new subscribers who have successfully entered to win our Apollo coin. That's right, the metal Apollo coin that you can get at the shop at Apollo Currency, um, the fan shop there. Uh, GF IMI, Vovin Vahid, and uh, Winner Fortuna, Howen 7474, and Kaibu Kaibu. Thank you guys for entering to win that coin and subscribing to me here on YouTube. Let's go ahead and quickly get into this. What's going on? Well, <laughs> a lot has happened since we uh, were last here on the podcast. Mainly, Bitcoin has dropped significantly, probably like 20 to 25% down from where we were last time we were here. Um, hopefully, we don't have to go away and part ways for a whole week again. But we did, so let's talk about it. What happened? Apollo, or I'm sorry, Bitcoin was at like $6,500 per coin when we were last talking. And uh, last I looked today, it was at like 4200 It's a significant fall, and a lot of you might be asking why. What happened? Why has Bitcoin dropped so much so fast? Um, I'm going to do what I normally do and uh, reword some things, break it up, and, uh, and explain it in a way we can all understand. Basically, two people or two groups... Uh, are having a little bit of a tizzy and they're not happy with each other. So they're selling their coins uh, at a high alarming rate, which then hurts supply and demand, which then hurts the overall price. Now remember, Bitcoin's value directly uh, tells us or directly uh, is involved with Apollo's value. Because if Bitcoin was worth 10,000 per coin, and Apollo was worth 19 Satoshis per coin. It's a lot different than when Bitcoin is worth $4,200 a coin and we're at 19 Satoshis per Apollo. So essentially, uh, that's like 55 to 60% less than if it were at you know $10,000 per Bitcoin because we are uh, based off of a, a value of a per Bitcoin. So... The more Bitcoin falls, the more that we're going to fall here at Apollo um, as far as like if we were to stay at the same Satoshi rate, but Bitcoin changes, that just means we change too, just not as drastically as Bitcoin does. But there's something that I think is a little bit good for Apollo on times like this. Now, bear with me. You might think I'm crazy a little bit, and I probably am, but hey, this is just my two cents. The more Bitcoin goes down, the quicker it is for Apollo to catch up, right? Am I right? <laughs> I mean, yes, it sucks. Cryptocurrency having uh, you know a lot of red going on is not good for new investors because people do not want to enter when things are looking so grim. However, they should. People should always enter when it's red, not when it's green. Think of all the people that entered into Bitcoin when it was, what, last December? And it was worth almost $20,000 a coin. And now what? It's 75, 80% cheaper now than it was then. You don't get into a cryptocurrency when it's green, because look what happens. Bad sound effects there. But you get my drift. You get into it when it's like this. And there's it's, sat, it's stagnant. There's some red going on. And then... You know, hopefully you can get a nice green candle like this and then do it again. Uh, obviously, we're a little far, farther down now than we were then. But uh, there's a lot of really, really positive things uh, coming for Apollo. Uh, it sounds like Monday, uh, the 26th, will be the first day for the Hermes 1.0 update. Super huge news. Super excited to talk about that when it happens. But for now, we'll just leave it at that. We'll talk about it more as it happens. If there's anything that you need to do on your end with your wallets or what have you, excuse me, uh, I will put that information out. That way we're all up to date because uh, we most likely will have to do some kind of 
update. Uh, maybe we won't, but I'm just assuming here. Uh, with Hermes coming out and working perfectly, that's going to mean great things for us. I do believe it's going to mean some green, if you know what I mean. Some green. Um, I think I think we've got uh, a lot more going for us than uh, than Bitcoin has going for it. Uh, these these groups or individuals that are you know fighting, they're in that tizzy I was mentioning. They actually, one of them, at least one of them, mentioned that they would let Bitcoin value go all the way down to one thousand dollars per coin if they had, if they had to, just to win their argument. We could go into the argument and all that. It's just not necessary. So uh, that's a lot of negativity over there in the Bitcoin race, which is uh, really just affecting everybody. Um, and remember last, I think it was the very last episode that we did, we talked about how Bitcoin goes down, Apollo goes up. Well, not so much this time. Obviously, that is a trend and not a guarantee. But I do feel that come Monday, we're going to see some pretty awesome gains. Hermes is going to revolutionize crypto. Okay, I, I, I truly believe it. Um, if you look here, um, we were all the way down to 18 Satoshis. And for a little bit, we went up to 20 Sat, aka Satoshis. Looks at 352, 2 million coins, 2.2 million coins were purchased. That's a, a good thing there. <clears throat> just, I, I mean, it's just nice to, to look at the positives. Okay, so currently we're 5% down on the day. Uh, when it comes to uh, my advice for you, um, everyone out there, I think this weekend, which is, uh, I never even mentioned the time, it's um, November 23rd, 2018. Uh, I believe this weekend what we should do is uh, is push these green walls here. Um, I wouldn't say go all the way down to 17. I, I just don't feel like it'll happen. Um, the Apollo announcements channel on, um, on Telegram did put out the spoiler of Hermes coming out on Monday. So I think that you might want to put your coin purchases on 18. Um, or if you're really into getting your coins ASAP, throw them under the 19 Satoshi mark. But now that all of our updates of prices are out of the way, I want to talk to you a little bit about South Africa. That's right. So if you watched Apollo Corner about a week ago, they had uh, some guys that are running their own Apollo shop in South Africa. Now, it, it was pretty awesome to watch. You guys should check it out. Um, anyway, these individuals are operating in South Africa. You should really check out the full episode of Apollo Corner, but I'll give you the, the, the details. Uh, these guys have, have mentioned that, uh, so basically they're, they're not a bank, but for all intents and purposes, we're gonna pretend like it is a bank. People are going in there and they are paying with their currency, whatever their, their currency is there. And, uh, and getting their Apollo coins, okay? And if they want to, they can turn around and do it the opposite way. They can sell their Apollo coins and get whatever currency that they're using. Um, and they actually said that their customer base is doubling every day. So think about that for a second. Let's just start low. Let's say one person came on the first day. It was open. Then two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64. You get my drift. 128. It is constantly doubling. Now, I'm sure that that is not actually doubling every day, but even if it's close, you know, doubling every day for the first two weeks, that is awesome. They said they'll, they get to their place of business and there will be a line of people per, uh, trying to purchase or, and, and successfully purchasing Apollo coins. So for just a second, I want you to realize how this is so much bigger than just an investment. For some people, this is going to end up being a lifestyle. Uh, you know, third world countries buying Apollo coins because their their government's coins are failing. Now, I, I've been overseas and I've been into the worst of the worst. I've been deployed to Iraq a few times and uh, I won't go into that much. But I will tell you that, I mean, it's crazy to see, you know, someone have to spend $1,500 of whatever their dollars are uh I try to forget a lot of the stuff with my deployments. 
Um, so forgive me for, for forgetting what it's called, but um, yeah, they would, you know, for, for a lollipop, I mean, they're, they're spending, you know, for, for a can of soda, they're, they're spending, you know, $900 of whatever their, do their dollars are. So I'm just trying to explain to you how important this, this is for, for people and, and that there's more of these uh, mass adoption sites opening. I believe they just talked about one opening in um, Australia. There's one, maybe two. But it's something to look for, guys. I think that there's even opportunities for people here in the States or the UK or wherever to actually put up one of these kiosks, you know, maybe pay for it. I don't know how much they cost. I'll try to find out about that. But it's like a red box. For those of you in the States, you know what red box is. Someone uh, pays a maintenance fee and an ownership fee of having a red box at a gas station. And then people come and rent movies. And then those people get a, the people that own that red box get a percentage of the money generated from those movie rentals. So it's essentially the same thing. Um, people go in, they buy Apollo, and then you're going to get a cut of that Apollo. Um, again, we're going to be talking about this much more in the future because this is a big deal. I'm hoping to see um, a lot of these popping up in major cities around the world like they want. I think it's going to happen, especially like these guys are so positive. You have to watch that Apollo Corner. I'll put the link down in the description. Check it out. I watched the whole thing because it was just awesome to see. Now, some of the stuff that happens in Apollo Corner isn't for me, but you know what? It's really good information and you should check it out. Uh, if you've already tried to watching it and you don't um, enjoy how they do things, that's fine. I'll try to continue to watch it and give you the tidbits of brilliant, amazing information that they give out. Um, hey, who knows? Maybe one day in the future we'll be able to go on Apollo Corner and be a guest. Who knows? Who knows what can happen? That you know, just like Apollo, everything is limitless. You know, we have a lot of reasons to be positive about the future, and. We got some green here today, guys. We got some green to look at here, all right? With the green comes some red, but look, there's 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 green in the future. Um, I suggest you get your Apollo coins this weekend because I have a hunch that things are going to pop off a bit on Monday when Hermes 1.0 is released. So without further ado, I'm out of here broadcasting from Spotify, Podbean, iTunes, podcast app, and YouTube. Thank you for being here. Crush the subscribes, the likes, the follows, and comment as much as you can. Make sure you follow Apollo Currency's Facebook um, group, and you can uh, hit us up on Discord because we have a Discord group. So we'll see you on the flip side, and thanks for being here for uh, Episode 9 of Apollo for Dummies. Peace out, Girl Scout. Oh, and don't forget... Left.